okay uh, now uh, we have uh, connected all the three instances using putty and a uh, few things uh, we need to do okay so since the machines are uh, running in run level 5 so that is the graphical uh, based mode so we can change that into uh, terminal based or uh, run level 3 okay so we can uh, use slash etc init tab okay open init etc init tab file and change the run level so here it's uh, uh, this we need to change it to 3 okay and uh, save the configuration and then uh, reboot okay so we will uh, do uh, I, mean, I mean the few more prerequisites and then uh, do a reboot okay so do the same thing across other machines also so run level has changed to 3 because instead of uh, booting into the graphical uh, mode so it will boot into text based mode okay so here Uh, next uh, we will check what are the uh, uh, prerequisites or what are the uh, basic configurations we need to uh, do okay uh, so we need to um, okay so this thing okay fine okay uh, so uh, we will uh, uh, first we will set the host name for each machine because uh, we we have not set any host name here okay so it is uh, so one by one we will do that okay so first we will take the master machine and uh, open here etc sysconfig network so here uh, we will change the host name so I'm using my host name as master dot hadoop dot master dot hadoop dot com. Okay, and for uh, node one, so for node one, I'm changing the uh, name host name as node one uh, dot hadoop dot com. So you can use any name so if we have a dns configured so uh, i don't have a dns configured here i'm just using this name uh, hadoop.com so node1.hadoop.com and uh, for uh, node 3 okay opening the same file here and uh, so here this is node2.hadoop.com okay so um, i'm doing a reboot of all this okay so do a reboot here also okay so now uh, the machines are uh, booted so now you can see uh, it's booted in the run level 3 not into graphical mode okay so i i connected all these uh, three machines again using the putty and you can check the host name by using uh, the host name command and make sure so the it set all uh, correct host name okay so node1.hadoop.com yeah correct so the next uh, thing is we need to update etc host file across all these three file i mean uh, three machines so we'll check the ip address of machines one by one and update that in uh, etc host file okay i'm changing the etc host file uh, one by one so that it contain ip address and host name of all the uh, machines so all the three machines here open the file okay so i don't want this line 
okay so this is the uh, IP address and host name so we'll uh, do the same across all other machines also etc host remove the first line sorry Okay. So the same thing I need to add on the node two also. Okay, so open node two. okay so done okay uh, next i'm doing to i'm going to create a uh, local repository for operating system and to one of the machine so i'm taking uh, the master machine as for that okay and changing the settings so that i need to uh, connect that uh, dvd whatever the dvd uh, we have connected and uh, point to that iso file okay I don't know why two DVD has come, so I just uh, remove one DVD. This cannot be removed. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, so on the master, I have that. Then I'm just mounting uh, slash dev DVD read write slash mnt okay i am mounting uh, that uh, dvd drive to uh, slash mnt so this dvd contain uh, whatever the centos uh, images so i just mounted to uh, this slash mnt so here uh, everything is here so what i am doing here is i am going to create a uh, repository uh, for uh, this uh, linux so that uh, my other machines also can use uh, this uh, master as a uh, report server okay so that uh, my servers need not to connect to internet for installing the package operating system packages okay so i'll copy this into uh, http uh, home directory so okay uh, so i i will i'll be copying this to uh, uh, Okay, so I will go to slash var www html. So this is the HTTP root directory, and creating a directory uh, called centos underscore repo, and whatever the packages from slash mnt, I'll be copying here. Okay, cp slash mnt star hyphen rf two are for recursive force to this location now uh, i'll i'll start the service httpd so in order to make sure uh, this uh, uh, packages are available so i can uh, copy this ip address and paste it in browser http colon this one Okay, uh, so if I uh, copy uh, this directory and uh, paste it here, I mean, so I would be able to see whatever the uh, retired packages. So I can use uh, this uh, link in my uh, repo config file. I will be doing that later. Okay, so this makes sure that HTTP service is working fine. And under this sent, uh, under this HTTP root, centos underscore repo contain the packages so i can use uh, this address uh, in my uh, repo configuration files that i will be explaining in my upcoming video thank you